Hey guys, Justin Ball here, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Daily Clues Click Tracks using FL Studio. First of all, I have to give a shout out to my good friend Ryan Bomi, who literally taught me everything that I'm about to show you. First, open up FL Studio. Open the folder you downloaded from my website, navigate to the Click Tracks folder, find the etude you want to work with, then highlight the tracks in the WAV Files folder and drag them into the session. Before we dig any deeper, a few basic housekeeping items. To rename the tracks, hover over the track name, right click, and rename the track. I like to keep things simple with drag bases, drags, full subs, downbeats, and measures. One thing I love about FL Studio is that you can actually come up here and adjust the tempo to align with the click. This does not change the actual tempo of the click tracks, but this is incredibly useful when we start dealing with markers, which I'll discuss later in this tutorial. Now let's come over here and click on this magnet looking dude, and what we're going to do essentially is create a grid based on the meter and the tempo of the piece. De La Cruz 1 is in 6-8, so I need to make sure 1 third is checked. Now we're ready to input our markers for each measure. This will allow you to easily loop any combination of measures when you start practicing. To input the markers, align your cursor with the downbeat of each measure, smash Alt-T and number them accordingly. Also, make sure you don't start these markers at the very beginning because there is a two bar count off. After you've put in all of your markers, double click on the marker you'd like to start on, then using a right click, hold and drag to the end of the excerpt. Smash the space bar and you're looping. You can also isolate the tracks by clicking on the little circles in each track on the left side of the screen. So earlier I mentioned that the tempo feature at the top doesn't actually affect the tempo of the tracks, but there is a way that it can. If you'd like to slow down the tracks with this tempo setting, let's first click on this little guy next to the number in the track, come down to channel settings, find the time knob, right click and select auto detect. After doing this for each track, the tempo tool at the top can now control the speed of the click. However, just as with any DAW, the pitch of the snare drum parts will increase as you speed up the track and vice versa. So you can actually program FL Studio to manually adjust this pitch as you change tempos by going back to the channel settings, coming down to mode and where it says auto, change this to resample. The last thing you need to know is how to record. Up on the right hand side of the screen, smash this little guy, come over to post, select whatever input you're recording from, then come over to this weird fish hook looking knob and click it. I believe this guy was actually the one responsible for the ridiculous amount of feedback I was getting when I first tried this. Lastly, make sure this guy is red, meaning that the track is armed to record. Go ahead and exit out, come up here and hit record, and it's going to ask you a bunch of silly questions. In this case, we want to record the audio into the playlist as an audio clip so that we can compare the click and our playing when we're done. Hit spacebar and you'll see that it records into an empty track and you're off to the races. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys found this tutorial to be useful. As always, if you have any questions, just let me know and happy practicing.